Hey guys, thank you so much for watching and today I'm very excited to be talking about the new news that just dropped for Planet Zoo this morning and that is we are getting update 1.9 coming on April 12th and there is some good stuff that we need to talk about. Now of course this also means that likely our DLC will be coming as well. We don't have any news on that just as of yet but let's see if we can't get any information from what we have in this update. So let's just go ahead and get started. It says, hey, oh, zookeepers, it's time for us to take a closer look at what you can expect from the upcoming Planet Zoo free update, which will be available for you to enjoy on t the 12th of April. Are you ready to see what you can expect from update 1.9? Let's go. Roaming educators. That's right, free roaming educators will soon be roaming their way to your zoo. This is a brand new way for your educators to share their animal knowledge with your guests as they walk around, bringing some extra educational activity along with them. Whenever an educator isn't traveling, resting, or at an animal talk point, they'll be able to wander around and give mini talks to your guests to help educate them on some of the animals present in your zoo. To celebrate this exciting new experience for your guests, we decided to try our hand at replicating some of the hard work that roaming educators will be putting in at your zoo very soon. See how we got on below. And then this little video, in case you're interested in watching it, is some of the devs kind of walking around and testing each other's knowledge, asking little fun facts and stuff. It's a pretty cute video. It's about six or so minutes long. Um, so if you're interested on watching that, uh, you can go to the post and watch that video for yourself but that's very exciting so roaming educators um, it just means that there's another way you can add education into your zoo so I think I think that's great hopefully uh, it will help us in our franchise zoo get our education rating up because right now that is really struggling in Winfield Zoo Moving on to explore camera mode. This is something that I am pretty excited about. Speaking of roaming, we're excited to share that with the launch of update 1.9, you'll be able to make the most of a new explore camera mode, seeing and editing your zoo from a guest level point of view. You'll be able to see your zoo as if visiting it for yourself, giving you a great perspective from which to make any building or decorative adjustments, as well as offering a brand new way for you to fully immerse yourself in your builds. This sounds really cool. I am very interested in the fact that it says and editing, so I wonder what kind of features they're going to add with this, but I'm wondering if this is going to be an even easier way uh, to take screenshots and pictures of your zoo. Right now we have Tejit Cam um, and that you can get down into guest mode, but this and editing sounds really cool and I actually have my fingers crossed. I hope that means like changing the lighting and stuff, like kind of just like a, a picture camera mode where you can change the lighting and the colors and all that kind of stuff. Um, it'll probably make thumbnails really easy for me if that's what it is. So fingers crossed that is actually what they mean by that. Moving on to the next little section here, audio visual management screen and webcams on billboards. So managing your audio and media boards just got even easier. This new audio visual management screen will allow you to manage the screens and speakers within your zoo from one location, allowing you to see which clips or audio are being used by each output device, as well as the status and running costs for each screen, speaker, or camera in your zoo so you can deliver a fully immersive educational experience with total ease. To add to this offering, you'll also be able to incorporate your webcam feeds from burrows onto your billboards, allowing your guests to get a closer look at your animals when they are using their burrows. Very, very cool. So um, I thought I was pretty sure you could already link your burrows uh, to your billboards, but maybe not. Um, but having one place to kind of control all these sounds fantastic. Let's move on to new water options. Does someone say 
flexi colored with the upcoming 1.9 update you can now completely customize the color of water in any exhibit which features it allowing you to have more control than ever over exactly how your exhibit animals are displayed and viewed in your zoos which exhibits are you going to inject with a burst of color so this is really interesting to me so this is the first bit of information that makes me kind of guess at what we might be seeing. So they're adding more detail to exhibit animals. So does that mean we are going to be seeing uh, new exhibits with like fish uh, and swimming animals potentially? Um, I don't have my breath held for that one, but that was the first thing that popped into mind because as you guys may know, we can already change the color of water in habitats and like bodies of water in your zoo, but we haven't been able to do that for exhibit animals. So I am curious as to why they've decided this feature in this update in specific, uh, but we'll just have to see. Let me know what your guesses are, what you make of that. Talking a little bit more about the water, your habitats won't be missing out on some aqua-based features either. With update 1.9, you'll be able to add both mist and bubble effects to your habitat water. You'll be able to implement these options from the water information panel alongside the transparency and watercolor options, which are already in the game. And the Mist VFX will also offer customizable color. This is awesome. Now this actually takes me away. It doesn't make me think of, of uh, aquariums or swimming animals or anything like that. But this whole um, bubble effects and a mist, I think is, is really cool. I am always up for more VFX. They just kind of add to the atmosphere and the ambiance of your zoo, right? Help us create certain little, um, uh, scenarios or what is the word I'm thinking of? Um, like paints a better picture, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It just, it, it adds to the, the effect. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, and then moving on, still talking about water, but we're going to talk about bathing behaviors. So the perfect way to unwind in a hot spring, of course. With update 1.9, we're introducing bathing behaviors. Simply create a shallow pool of water and heat it with a water temperature regulator, keeping it to the animal's requirements, of course, to create the perfect hot spring for your Japanese macaque to bathe in. This behavior will help reduce animal stress, so it's a great way to provide a more relaxing environment within your habitats. So this perfect timing, we just added the macaques to Winfield Zoo, so we'll have to test this out uh, and the fact that it's going to help with stress is music to my ears, but talking about what the potential DLC could be, um, I don't know, you know, we have hints that the capybara might be coming and the capybara are definitely animals that like to kind of soak and hang out in the water. So that might be a hint as to why this mechanic is getting added with this update. I don't know, question mark, what do you guys think? But that was the first thing that came to my mind. Moving on, we've got two more little sections here. The first being flatten to terrace brush. So to help create the shallow pool you'll need for your new hot springs, you'll be able to use the new flatten to terrace brush. This new terrace terrain brush is available with update 1.9 and offers a terrace height setting and a shallow pool offset option, which are incredibly helpful if you're wanting to create rice terrace structures within your zoo. So this will be really cool, you know, trying to get the really shallow, um, really shallow pools for your animals. I'm curious if this is going to be the only way that you're gonna be able to make hot springs um, is by using this specific brush or if you just make normal bodies of water if it won't recognize it or how it might work. But very cool, always like more terrain control. And then last but not least, with update 1.9, smaller animals will now be able to adopt burrowing behaviors. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> when they released the burrowing mechanics, I was so sad that meerkats and prairie dogs could not use them because they they should be able to. Um, so now they can. So you'll be able to place small burrows for both meerkats and prairie dogs in your zoo. And don't forget that you can now add webcam feeds uh, from your burrows to your billboards. Uh, so you'll be able to see your animals enjoying these new smaller burrows. 
Um, oh, you know what? I actually, in just reading this, knew smaller burrows. So that's interesting. So it sounds like they're giving us a new item with the same function of the current burrows. Hmm. So that, that could be a hint that other small animals are coming to the pack, or at least one other small animal. So that definitely points away from aquariums, obviously, because aquariums are not going to be land-dwelling animals or burrowing animals. As always, these exciting new features in 1.9 come with various fixes, which we will be including in the full patch notes upon release. We'll have more news for you soon, but until then, join us this coming Monday, March 28th, on Twitch and YouTube for a very special self-care stream that you won't want to miss. We'll see you there. I'm so excited that they're doing this again. I really hope that it's something like the Lumi story, like we saw with the last, uh, the Europe Pack update, or Europe Pack DLC. They kind of did this little story time and, and had us guess, or there was little hints along the way as to what animals we'd be seeing. So definitely keep your eyes out for March 28th on their stream. I would be guessing that we will be getting some DLC news on that day, or at least some massive hints. Um, but yeah, that is going to be, that's going to be the update 1.9. So I am pretty excited about it, specifically the, where did it go? The camera mode, this right here. So explore camera mode, and then also these, uh, burrows and bathing behaviors. I always love when new behaviors are added to the animals. And then the small burrows, uh, just something different. And finally, the meerkats and prairie dogs will be able to use the burrows like I feel like they should have been able to do the whole time. So very, very excited about that. Let me know down below in the comments, what are your guesses? It's speculation time. What DLC are we seeing? What do you think? Based on this information that we have now, this is all we know. Do you think we're getting aquariums? I I know I said like in the very beginning when we were talking about new water options, that's what it made me think about. Uh, but if you take into account everything all together, I say it's not very likely in my opinion. Um, but the small burrows, more small animals would be fantastic fantastic. I've always said that I would love to have uh, smaller animals in the zoo. So we'll see. Uh, I'm just excited for any news altogether. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are excited as I am. Leave your comments, feedbacks, and suggestions down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you're interested in watching any more Planet Zoo content. I will for sure be covering update 1.9 and whatever the coming DLC is. And until next time, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!